Another InDesign quick tip by Fatfly Design. In this video, let's take a quick look at how to import images from Adobe Illustrator that may contain multiple artboards. So let's say you have a document in Illustrator over here. So I have a document here that has four different artboards and there's a logo on each artboard. And I want to place something from one of these artboards into Adobe InDesign. So go back to InDesign. I just have an InDesign file here. I'm going to go to File Place. Now the key here is that you make sure that Show Import Options is turned on. If you don't have this turned on, your only option is to import the artwork on artboard number one. But what if you want something from artboard number two, three, or four, or another one? So I'm going to select my Illustrator document, click on Open. Now it's going to ask me, okay, it says this document is a total of four pages, so there's four artboards over here and it wants to import what's on artboard number one but what if I want what's on artboard number two or three or four so I have a choice here okay so let's choose something let's just choose this one from artboard number three and I'll hit OK and click and there it is the artwork that was on artboard number three is now placed into InDesign now it's too big but this is vector based so I can enlarge and reduce all I want no problem about that I just need to grab a corner, hold down Command and Shift, and that would be Control and Shift on a Windows-based machine, and resize that, and put it right in there. Now if I wanted something on one of those other artboards, I'd simply go back to File Place or Command D. I would choose that file again, open, and I would pick what I want from which artboard, and I would bring that in as well. So it's that simple. You just need to make sure that Show Import Options is turned on or you won't have that choice that you need. Thanks for watching this InDesign quick tip. I hope it was helpful. If you like what you saw, please hit like and subscribe below. Also, if you get a chance, visit my website at fatflydesign.com.